Hello friends. Welcome to the S3 Cloud Hub channel. In this video, we will see which cloud platform is best for you. So without any further ado, let's get start the session. Which cloud platform should I learn? This is the question that people ask, literally speaking every day. Like should I learn Azure? Should I learn Amazon Web Services? Should I learn Google Cloud? And the answer to this question is, don't learn any of them, instead, learn the cloud. By cloud I mean, don't learn a single cloud, learn the cloud. See that is the secret to building a perfect cloud architect career, solution architect career, or enterprise architect career. And we'll discuss this in much more depth. See, here's the thing. The cloud is just a virtual network and a virtual data center. And when you learn the cloud, you always know what to do. See, where people go wrong when they try to be cloud architects or solution architects or cloud engineers is, they do the following. They learn the name of a services and how to configure that services because that's what certification training is. But that doesn't teach you anything. That kind of knowledge of this and how to configure it, that's a technician at best. That's not what engineers do. That's not what architects do. So I want you to learn the cloud. Now there's a big difference between knowing the cloud and knowing the name of a service and how to configure it. So if you want to be a cloud architect, a solutions architect, an enterprise architect, you need to learn the cloud. Now let's talk about this a little more. Train like a cloud architect. So first and foremost, learn the foundational technologies. What is that? It is the network and the data center. The cloud is just a network at a data center. Everything we do in the cloud, we've been doing in the network and the data center for decades. Do you want to know something more? Every service we have in the cloud maps to a network and a data center service. So if you want to know the cloud, learn the services in the first place. Learn what virtualization is, because that's the main computing platform in the cloud. Learn what containers are. Because whether you're in the data center or the cloud, it's the same thing. Learn about storage, block storage, object storage, file storage. It's the same in the data center as it is the cloud. The only thing that changes is the name. So learn the tech. Learn about routing. Learn about switching. Learn about firewalls, intrusion detection, intrusion prevention, and you know the cloud. Microsoft Active Directory for IM for example. Same on or off the cloud, it's the same concepts. Learn the cloud. So I want you to learn it like an architect. And let's say you need a server in your data center. Chances are you're using a virtual server. Maybe on VMware ESXi or using the KVM hypervisor or something like that. But in your data center, your servers are probably on a virtual machine. Do you know what they are in the cloud? In a virtual machine. And it doesn't matter if it's called an Azure virtual machine, a Google Compute Engine, or an EC2 instance. Guess what? They're all functionally equivalent. They are just virtual machines. Let's say, for example, you need not only an SQL database, because you need flexibility in your schema, and you need unlimited scalability or near unlimited scalability. You need a no SQL database. Now you as an architect need to determine, is that Apache Cassandra? Is that MongoDB? Is it DynamoDB with AWS? Cloud Big Table? It is up to you the architect to decide. But if you don't know what is a no SQL database, and why organizations use no SQL databases, then you'll never know what to do. And if it's a hybrid cloud, maybe you're running a Newtonix cloud in your data center, or an OpenStack Ansible cloud in your data center, and you connect it to the cloud, you'll still be good because you're going to know the functional equivalence. I'll give you one more example. Let's say you need object storage. Object storage being a type of storage area network, an object storage is really unique because it takes the data, it breaks it down into objects, and each object has metadata. It's that metadata that enables you to create data lake and big data environments. That metadata is very useful. 
So if you are in your data center, and you want to create a data lake, or you've got a multi-cloud network, or a hybrid cloud network it's all the same. So it could be your object storage in your data center. If you're on AWS it could be called S3, it's the same object storage. If you're on Microsoft, it could be called Blob, and if you go on Google, it's called Cloud Storage, but it's all object storage. So if you know about the object storage in the data center, then you know how to move it to the cloud. Again, it's not about learning the name of the service and how to configure it, it's knowing what the design is. That's the work of the cloud architect or the solutions architect. You're an architect. If you want to be a great cloud architect, solutions architect, enterprise architect, learn what it is you're doing. Basically, learn those network and data center services, learn the cloud and you are a great architect. And then if it's Azure, great. If it's AWS, great. If it's GCP, great. If it's Oracle, great. If it's Newtonix, great. If it's OpenStack Ansible, great. It doesn't matter if you are a cloud architect and you train by learning the cloud. So if I want to use a cloud service, I go to of the cloud provider and I purchase what the customer needs or recommend what the customer needs and it's going to be different on every cloud provider. But the tech is the same. The underlying technology is the same. How the services work are the same. For the most part, the only differences are the name of them and how to configure them, which you can easily, easily look up on a configuration guide. Here's what you can't look up on a configuration guide are how things work and how to design them and how to make them work together. That is the skill of the cloud architect. So if you want to build an amazing cloud architect career or a solution architect career, it's not about hybrid clouds. It's not about multi-clouds. It's not about this cloud provider versus this provider. It's about the cloud. Learn the cloud. Learn all the pieces and parts and components that make the cloud, the network and the data center possible. And it's up to you the designer to find a way to transform the organization's business through the use of all these wonderful technologies. Now I hope you all guys are clear with this topic and hope you enjoyed the lecture. So guys, that's it for this video, I hope you liked it. I will see you in the next lecture. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below, I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.